Some are going through a battle right now, Baba, where a who uh, had their backs to the wall. And in history, thank you uh, for this opportunity to address you today. And I stand here on behalf of the Honorable Prime Minister just to convey our thanks and appreciation again to the frontliners all over Fiji and uh, beginning with here in Nandi. And you are indeed the frontliners. It's amazing to be able to see how we've integrated and worked together over the last year. Because of the work that we do, which is very important, we've kept Fiji COVID contained. We've said all along that we have a layered approach to COVID-19. There are many layers. And this is a very important layer, the layer of border quarantine. And the fact that you're able to keep Fiji contained by maintaining the border is so important to all of us. So I want to again thank you and show appreciation to all the work that you've done. Also want to thank uh, our team uh, for the preparations that happened over the last intervening months, uh, beginning with the Honorable Prime Minister in advocating for equal access to the vaccine and uh, the work that was done by our embassies overseas, uh, the UN, uh, our embassy in the UN, our embassy in Geneva and all over in the UK in pitching for us to be able to get the vaccine. And there are so many unsung heroes behind the scenes. So while some of us uh, here stand at the tip of the spear, there are so many others that work silently behind the scene to make this happen. But today is all about you, all about you on the front line. And just thanking you and appreciating you. And also today is about making sure that you are protected. And as a government, we want to make it very clear to you that your lives are very important to us. Because uh, this is... This is important. This morning I was... Uh, Somebody showed me a picture of the plane near Pacific. Back, back there many years ago. And I said today is the beginning of many more good times. This fight is personal. The permanent secretary, his son is a pilot. The chief medical advisor, his son is one of the frontline works. His fight is person. You're not alone. We feel it. We want you to know that we want you protected. Doc. Honorable Minister, a permanent secretary for health. My colleagues from UNICEF, uh, colleagues from Ministry of Health and all the other uh, sectors from the police to ports to Fiji Airways, uh, colleagues and friends, um, thanks for inviting me here today. Good morning. It's an absolute privilege for WHO to join you for the vaccine rollout in Fiji today. There has been a lot of work, as Minister said, in the background to make today happen. And I wanted to join the Minister in saying a very big thank you to all of our frontline workers who have made it possible for us to contain COVID-19 in Fiji. A job well done. Thank you. Vaccination is an additional public health tool that we can use to uh, contain COVID. It's not enough on its own. And the work that you've done so far to contain COVID continues. And our ability to provide vaccination in this initial rollout adds to the comfort and the confidence that you can continue to do your very important and significant job at the front line. Let me mention that the vaccine coming into Fiji is the first allotment from the COVAX Global Facility, which has promised to offer vaccination for up to 20% of the population across the globe. Fiji is one of the 92 countries benefiting from this donation from COVAX. 
Additionally, COVAX is able to support countries to have access to additional vaccines at cost uh, wherever possible. I think it's important to acknowledge the work that all our development partners have done in supporting uh, COVAX and in making today a reality. Uh, our development partners who have been working with us on the Joint Incident Management Team, particularly colleagues from Australia, New Zealand, and also, of course, our colleagues from UNICEF. Uh, we've worked with the Ministry of Health colleagues to do all the micro-planning, the registration, making sure we have a record system, making sure we can follow uh, people up after they've got vaccinated so we can ensure safety of the vaccine. I want to enjoin everyone who is listening that were you to be offered vaccine as an eligible uh, person to receive vaccine, please hasten to do so because the vaccine is safe and effective and will help in controlling the acute phase of the pandemic. It does remove the risk of severe illness and the risk of hospitalization, which are things that we really, really want in this particular phase of the pandemic. Let me turn to the vaccine itself. The vaccine that Fiji is receiving and will be uh, rolling out today is the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which has gone through the rigorous WHO emergency use listing approval, which means the vaccine is considered safe and effective for the purpose that it's to be given. Many stringent regulatory authorities around the world have also approved the vaccine for use. What is more important is that as the vaccine is rolled out today, our colleagues from the Ministry of Health will continue to monitor its impact, its safety, and we want you to remain confident that the vaccine is good to use. It is important that we mention that there is a possibility when you receive the vaccine, you might have you know, short-lived symptoms like pain at the injection site, or you might have a little bit of discomfort. Sometimes all that is normal with vaccination. That does not preclude people taking the vaccine. And I really do want to mention the work that our colleagues in the media have been doing uh, to provide accurate information about all the measures that have been put in place during COVID-19 uh, response. The vaccine is also an important part of the response and accurate, correct information being given to the public will increase confidence, will ensure that we can use this tool safely and effectively in Fiji. So we welcome our friends from the media in supporting our efforts to make sure that accurate and important information reach the public every time on the issue of vaccination. Let me promise that if you do have any reason to ask us questions from the media and that we can clarify issues for you, please do not hesitate to contact us at WHO, our colleagues from UNICEF, and our colleagues at the Ministry of Health. I will stop here by saying again a very big thank you to all the frontline workers who are going to receive vaccine now and in the effort to continue the work that we've already started in Fiji. And say a big thank you to all our development partners who have done a lot of work in making sure that the donated vaccine reached Fiji today. And good luck to all of us in Fiji. Well done and thank you. Honorable Minister, Dr. Wanak Betty. Honorable Permanent Secretary, Dr. Fong, Dr. Akeem, my good friend from WHO, senior government officials, frontline workers, colleagues from Fiji Airways, colleagues who, from the police, colleagues from the hotel industry, ladies and gentlemen, Bulvanaka, and a very good morning to you all. On behalf of UNICEF, it's an absolute pleasure to be here this morning with all of you to witness this historical event, the official launch of Fiji, Fiji's COVID-19 vaccination effort for frontline workers. 
This, of course, is the first line of defense. This is the first 12,000 vaccines that have arrived in, in the country. It's, this delivery is part of uh, arrivals that will continue for the weeks to come. And while I have the honor to be at the microphone this morning, and I'm very proud of our role at UNICEF and our very deep partnership with our friends from WHO, and of course, the leadership from the Ministry of Health, I want to emphasize that these vaccines are here today because of the financial support and the commitment of the global community. Our bilateral and multilateral partners around the world who really understand and have committed to solidarity, committed to equity, committed to ensuring that everybody in every corner of the world gets this vaccine. And without their support, none of you would be vaccinated today. I want to thank the government of Fiji for their leadership uh, in, in public health. The fact that uh, Fiji remains COVID-free of community transmission, no community transmission whatsoever in this country, really is a testament to the leadership of this country. And most importantly, to those of you, the frontline workers, those of you who are giving the message day in and day out, those of you who are working in health centers, those of you who are communicating with your peers, those of you who are communicating with your families. Often people look to those of us with fancy degrees, white coats, stethoscopes, for what's really happening. But we know at UNICEF, we know at WHO, that frankly the best providers of information are peers. People who have interaction with their relatives, with, with others on a daily basis. That's why it's so important that you give the right information out there. That's so, why it's so important that your success speaks so, so loudly to why we're in the fantastic situation we are in today in Fiji. We really take our hat off to you. And we ask that you continue the fantastic work that you're doing here. We, of course, know that this, this horrible pandemic continues to evolve. We know that there are new variants out there. And we know that everyone is looking to the vaccine. The vaccine is extremely important, but it's not a silver bullet by itself. Public health needs to be front and center. The messages that you've been giving day in and day out about good hand hygiene, about social distancing, all these things continue to matter. Please continue to give that message. We need to make sure you do everything to continue to keep Fiji safe. We look to you. You really are the heroes of the efforts here. We need to keep you safe, and we look to you to keep the rest of the population safe. On behalf of UNICEF, thank you for all that you do. It's an honor to work with you. Thank you very much.